Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today is another rare breed versus. Have you ever heard the saying, killing two birds with one stone? Well, guess what? I'm taking that saying and I'm giving it a slaying because that's exactly what we're doing today. In my previous rare breed versus videos, I got a lot of comments from folks saying, hey, Matt, and I was like, yes. And they were like, rare breed versus Old Forester 1920, Matt. And I was like, I've already done that twice. Old Forester 1920 was victorious the first time. In the rematch, rare breed took the gold, but I was concerned because my old Forester was old. It was at the bottom of the bottle and it had been that way for a while. Tonight, it's the rubber match. Rare breed, Old Forester 1920, a newer bottle, but that's only the first bird. I also recently got a Woodford batch proof and reviewed it. People in the comments were like, hey Matt, Old Forester 1920 is around the same proof with the same parent company, Brown Foreman, and less than half the price. How does Old Forester 1920 compare to Woodford batch proof? Well, guess what? Second bird, same stone, bitches. Is this a menage a trois of bourbon skirmishing action? Some would say that it is, and the others had to Google menage a trois. Old Forester 1920 versus 2022 Woodford batch proof versus rare breed. Today's bourbon skirmish is brought to you by today's video sponsor, The Great Whiskey Challenge. For today's three-way blind bourbon skirmish, we are using the blind tasting kit from greatwhiskeychallenge.com. This blind tasting kit goes for only 35 bucks on their website. And if you or somebody you know is just getting into bourbon tasting and you wanna challenge yourself with a blind flight, this kit will get you started just right. Whether a rookie or an expert, pour your favorites or experiment with the unknown. Either way, the experience is sure to be an expedition into the sensational realm of taste and a fine way to pass the time or brighten up a party. Kind of like red underpants. It comes with an instructional guide, tasting scoreboard sheets, three custom hand-blown glasses, and they're all lettered on the bottom this one is C, but what you can't see is the letter through the glass because guess what? They blacked it out so you can't see the letter's ass. It also comes with a whiskey tasting podium with instructions on it and little dangly do's to dangle from your bottles so you don't forget which bottle is which letter. Wild Turkey Rare Breed will go in glass America B. Woodford Reserve Batch Proof, America, will go in glass C. And Old Forester 1920, America, will go in glass A. Because we're giving Old Forester 1920 another chance to beat Rare Breed. We've mixed all the glasses up, so we don't know which one is which. Now let's nose and taste these buggers to find out which bourbon will be the winning son of a bitch. Glass one. Ooh. Nice. Cherry and pepper. You can get a good SJ going if you put your mind to it. A little bit of a bear claw. A bear claw if you're familiar with donuts, fresh baked bread from your grandmother's home. A pleasant bursting, a pleasant bursting of fruity flavors, like fruit stripe gum, but it lasts a lot longer. Little cotton candy. This is the first time I've ever tasted out of these glasses, but every glass design makes whiskey taste different when you sip out of it. But whatever whiskey is in this glass is shining with this hand-blown glass's ass. Very good, glass number one is very good. Glass number two. Glass number two is a little bit more like tobacco and like maybe like a little bit of leather or pleather. 
if you're in a non-breathable pants. There's like a tiny bit of nut on here that's like a banana nut, like a banana nut bread. Class number two, down the hatch. Delightful. A little bit of citrus is shining through. A little bit of like a vanilla extract. If you extracted a lot of vanilla extract on your tongue, that leaves us with glass number three. Glass three is kind of creamy, kind of creamy and maybe even a little dreamy, you could say. Maybe a little nutty. These glasses are throwing me for a loop. Not in a bad way, I'm just not used to nosing and tasting out of them. Glass three is chocolate chip cookie dough. It's not off-putting at all, but also at the same time, it's not exactly on-putting. It's not making me do backflips down the aisle of my best friend's wedding. In reality, the nose is just like, I'm just walking down the aisle like they taught me to. The weird walk, where you take one step and then do the stupid thing to take the other step, and then you screw it up and blame it on the whiskey, and then the bridesmaid who's attached to your arm who doesn't want to be attached to your arm because you're the grossest groomsman she's all like learn to walk fatty and you're like babe and she's like what did you call me glass three down the hatch huh a little bit nutty a little bit tiny bit astringent there's a weird woodsy note in there Glass three is making me do things like this, huh? And hmm. There are some pokey bits on the palate of this whiskey. Some like not great things. A little bit grassy or a little bit fieldy. Kind of like you're running through a field by yourself. Wishing that you were running through the field with a girl. If that field were also growing alcohol and nuts. These Great Whiskey Challenge hand-blown glasses are really challenging my palates. I already said asses. Um, asses. This is a fun thing. Every glass that you drink whiskey from, if it's a different glass, the whiskey tastes different. And these little guys are making me like double and triple think what the heck is going on here. I'm actually loving these glasses because I'm getting a totally different experience. All right, after going back and forth and back and forth and tasting and retasting, I have finally come to a conclusion. And thanks to greatwhiskeychallenge.com, I'm using their podium to place these buggers in first, second, and third place. In third place was glass three, and glass three is letter B, the rare breed, son of a B. Rare breed, third place tonight. In second place is glass number one, and glass number one, the runner-up this evening is letter A, Old Forester 1920. That means that the winner tonight, thank goodness because of the price, is 2022 Woodford Reserve Masters Collection Batch Proof First Place Letter C. Was it closer than I thought it would be? Yeah, a little bit. Do I recommend the Great Whiskey Challenge Blind Tasting Kit? Absolutely. It's like 35 bucks, and for somebody just getting into tasting bourbon, this is a great gift. I really like the old timey neck tags to hang from the bottoms. So after you're slammered, you don't forget which one is which. 35 bucks for three glasses. 35 bucks is kind of a steal. Thank you greatwhiskeychallenge.com for sponsoring this video and sending me your kit for me to like get down with. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to use and I definitely recommend People out there, pick one up. If they're interested in doing a three-way menage a trois blind whiskey tasting challenge like I just did. That's going to do it for this video. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button or your electric bill will triple this month. 
Sorry to do that, but it's just my tactics. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on... Oh, I reheated pizza in the air fryer today. Total win.